Hey everybody, this is Ruben Lawing here in Northwest Houston. I uh, don't usually do a lot of marketing calls on a Friday. It's hard to catch people, but I'm on a quest, man. I'm trying to get uh, line up four appointments a day for the next 10 days. And um, I got four appointments lined up for Monday. And like so far, I can only get one lined up for Tuesday today. But I had two very interesting calls. Um, I have a lot of people. I have a lot of uh, real estate mortgage professionals in my uh, in my database, and realtors are hard to talk to. Real estate and mortgage professionals are really difficult to talk to. But I talked to this one. Well, I stumbled on um, a company called Divi Homes. D i v v y homes.com and so if you have let's say you got a new job and you're making more money than you ever made before and and uh, you can afford to buy a house but maybe you haven't had you don't have that kind of income coming on long enough to average to qualify to get conventional financing and maybe your scores or credit scores aren't, aren't aren't very high okay so you go. You find a house you want to buy, and you, you're not going to qualify. So you call Divi Homes, and Divi Homes will buy that property for you, and you, and lease it to you on a lease option contract, right? Until you get your credit scores up, and you get your cat, your your reserves up, and and uh, you can you have that time with your income to average to be able to qualify debt to income ratio to buy that house, right? Veterans, it's great for a man because uh, you got the VA, you don't need a down payment. But what they'll do is they'll take part of your your um, your lease payment that goes into an escrow that, that can build up your down payment. That's part of the deal, okay? So I'm talking to a realtor and she's not real, you know, not interested. You know, I've been sending her the schedule for the financial literacy workshops. But then I ask her if she ever heard of Divi Homes and I start telling her about that. I'm like, so this is what I want to do. Would you get somebody that, you know, you have a house that somebody wants to buy, but they're not going to qualify. You turn them on Divi Homes and and uh, you get your house sold, right? Well, I want to talk to those people and help them get their credit scores up and, you know, get their cash flow up and get their reserves up all right so they can get that finance in their name right and if you got anybody else that you've sold a house to you know you know you got you got up in a house but you know they're not going to be able to you know they're never going to pay that mortgage down and they're not going to make it to retirement you know i want to help them okay and she liked that okay and so it was a good call well then i get on the phone with this guy in north carolina and i'm i got him i connected with him because there's a famous Navy SEAL with the same name as him. They're not the same guy. But this guy, I'm like, well, so what do you do? Well, he advises large finance companies, right? And so he's working on a deal for um, for homeowners or for people that own investment property, okay, to be able to get you know, get their equity on. I'm like, oh, really? So I talked to him about the finance premium strategy using a trust for under a million and using a, a third party fiduciary for over a million. And boy, did he get excited. He's ex Marine Corps. We had a great conversation, man. So, and that's what you, that's what you call a, a center of influence. Okay. So you find so that's man. I was thinking about that today. Um, I first got in the mortgage business and um, I'm new, never done it before. Right. And I get like the first month, right. I get this guy. He's the, uh, the uh, director for the disabled veterans of America in Las Vegas. Um, and uh, he found a, a HUD home in, in uh, Las Vegas. He had to move from San Francisco cause the, the, Humidity was, you know, literally killing him. He had a condo and he, his tenants tore it up. He's trying to fix it up. His, his um, neighbor offered him a short sale. So VA thought, accepted it. Uh, he had a bankruptcy because 
um, a couple years before he had a comic book store and his, his partner embezzled a bunch of money from him. And so he was looking for a, a Title I home improvement loan and for $25,000, not a whole bunch, right? And uh, he came to me and uh, I got the, yeah, the underwriter calls me after I ever submitted the loan and says, you know, well, this guy's had a long enough time since a bankruptcy. He's got good credit. He's got established his income. But what about this foreclosure? I go, that's not a foreclosure. That's a VA authorized short sale. He goes, there's ways around a short sale. And uh, so I get the docs, right? And the funder didn't want to fund until he got something right in writing that the VA, he didn't know that the, uh, the VA authorized a short sale. By the time he gets to the docs right now, I had to resign docs again. I lost a quarter point in commission. That same funder now wants to have something in writing from the VA say he doesn't owe anybody any money. And I'm thinking, man, this guy's going to be dead before the VA kicks out that uh, that letter. Well, there was somebody that um, was getting some pictures framed by my wife, my ex-wife. And uh, we were talking about it. And he goes, call John McCain. I'm like, why would I call John McCain? You know, John McCain's a senator from Arizona. I'm from California. That guy's in, Arizona, in Nevada. Because he's doing it. He's running for president. So I called him up. His, uh, I get a call back. I left a message. Get a, I got a call back from Tom McCanna ex uh, special forces in Vietnam tell him the whole sad story because I don't know how you you know I don't know um, how it'll help you but I'll do it because you were a seal the next day I got that letter funded that loan right then um, that confidence that I was able to do do that got me going okay when you get somebody you know um, well, one of them senators or, one of those, or somebody that's with a lot of credibility that, that starts believing in you, it causes you to start believing in you too. Okay. So you just got to, you, you never, I, I would have never known if I didn't call this guy, right? And I've been, he's, he gets my emails, you know, hadn't, hasn't gone to any workshops or nothing, right? But now he's very interested. So I sent him a video I did on cryptocurrency and the video I did on uh, um, these uh, finance premiums. And uh, yeah, this is gonna this this dog is gonna hunt. All right, um, have a great Friday the thirteenth, and it turned out to be a lucky Friday for thirteenth for me. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.